Well, to all our Canadian listeners out there, Thanksgiving has just wrapped up. You have finished off your turkey dinner and your pumpkin pie and you're walking around with that turkey coma. So today we have a bit of a special episode entitled Table Manners with Bishop Tipton. So welcome to Kingdom Speak with Pastor Daniel McGillop. If, if I had a, something that was on the tip of the spear, yes. it would be the, the preeminence and the absolute importance of having the Holy Ghost in the middle of everything, every endeavor, every activity, uh, that we do, that we, we speak, <laughs> mm. uh, and always given deference to the Holy ghost. Mm. And, uh, you know, I, I'm alarmed at what I'm seeing as a trend, especially in denominal circles where ministry is a learned art form. Ooh. And uh, it's true, there needs to be a certain amount of form, but, but the warning by Paul, and one of the characteristics of the last days was they would have a form hmm. right. of godliness, right. denying, yes. denying the power thereof. And yes. so, uh, the last season, I suppose you could call it that, that, that I'm still in is, is making sure that the Holy Ghost is not just involved mm. or not just included, but is out front and is calling the shots and, uh, you know, kind of like the children of Israel in the wilderness. Yep. When they weren't following the, the cloud by day or the pillar of fire by night, they camped around the <laughs> presence of God. That's where Very they true. camped. Yeah. It, was, it was still there, right? Yes. Wow. And every tent door was open toward mm. right. the presence of God. The last thing at night, the first thing in the morning. <laughs> that was obviously to be the focus. So, so um, to to follow with what you're saying, then Bishop, the if it's if it's a form of godliness, and and that's the caution. Then if we're not if we're not careful, because a lot of times I've heard it discussed that they were camping around the tabernacle, which is the form. But the reality is, if what you're saying is, is, is if, I'm, if I'm grasping what you're saying, the whole point of the tabernacle was to house the presence of God. That's the reason the tabernacle was there. Right. That's why it, it was erected there, is because that's where the, the, the presence of God was manifesting itself in a localized way. And at that moment, when they camped, it was stationary. Mm. Wow. And so that des that was the designated place for the tabernacle. Mm. All form is to evolve <laughs> and to operate and to work around the presence of God. Wow. That's the statement right there. All Woo! form. Amen. Oh, to revolve around the presence of God. Yes. Well, if we ever get that. So we, we're guilty of trying to force the presence of God to, to flow through our form. Yes, yes. And, and he's so merciful because <laughs> oh. I, I've done it. And yeah. in spite, in spite of me. Wow. God. <laughs> he, he finds a way to to work and to, and to manifest himself. 
Oh, but it's so much more pleasant. Oh, now it's it's difficult to the flesh. Mm -hmm. uh, this flesh is kicking and screaming mm -hmm. because it, it wants to be seen and heard and and it wants to abdicate uh, preeminence. That's that's the nature of the flesh. It's it's contrary, even the carnal mind, contrary, enmity with God. Hmm. But thank God for the Holy Ghost that will lead us wow. and will guide us in not just some truth, but I have the hope of being led and guided into all truth. Mm. I'm, I'm not there yet, uh, but I'm, that's why I woke up this morning willing to be led some more. Wow. Because there's, there's always more truth. Wow. Always more revelation. Wow. There's always more, more to him. <laughs> In fact, it'll take an eternity to yeah. discover him. So you, even even when there's not this this, and I'm, I'm going back to what you said about the tabernacle. Even when there's not measurable momentum in the sense of motion. That's that's quote unquote, moving us from Egypt to the promised land. We still have got to have the spirit of God central, even when we're stationary. It's those times when it doesn't seem like anything special is happening or mm -hmm. anything monumental is going on. Those are the times that that God is is as much God, if not more, because I guess you you know you know it as well as I do. There's an ebb and flow yes. to this relationship, and I've come to the conclusion that oftentimes my ebb is His flow. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's more God uh, than I ever realize he is mm. uh, in those times of so-called ebb or, or when we're, we're, we tend to wonder, okay, where to from here or uh, what's going to happen next or what direction we're going to take tomorrow, if it is tomorrow. And how long am I going to be here? You know, that's a big one right. that we all ask. Right. When? When are we going to move forward? Right. Timing. Uh, yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Well, that, that's part of our being. We, we, we measure life and progress by seconds. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if there's not that forward momentum, it, we... we automatically deem it a waste when there's an aspect obviously of salvation that is never realized if you don't stand still and see the salvation yeah. of the Lord. Yes. There's aspects of his salvation that only can be visualized stationary. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, he told Moses, I'm going to put you in here. Yeah. I'm going to put you somewhere and yeah. stay right there and yeah. I'm going to show you some stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I do get the children of Israel though. Like they knew they were supposed to go to the promised land. So I do get the frustration. Like we're supposed to be going to the promised land and we're not moving. <laughs> right. That's the yeah. carnal side, right? Yes. Yes. When, when, when you're not in sync, mm with the Holy Ghost, time becomes your enemy. Wow. 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 But when, but when you are where he wants you to be, okay. and that's that's where he is. That's that's where he wants you to be. <laughs> you know, the whole deal about I go to prepare a place for you, and we know that's eternal in its scope, but it can be applied to right now. For sure. And uh, the bottom line is, is he said, 
that where I am, yes. right? Yes, that you may be also. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's that is in game. Every promise, every prophetic word, every calling, every on we could go, every activity of God has within it an invitation mm-hmm. for intimacy. Hmm. Wow. I don't care what he does beyond that miracle, beyond that healing, beyond mm-hmm. that answer mm-hmm. to prayer. There is a personal invitation for intimacy. He wants, oh. and, and you know, revelation is a two way street. It's not just us knowing him yeah. and that Paul's quest. Right. But it, it, it's him knowing us. Oh. I'm convinced there's things about us that are, that are that he has reserved. Yes, oh, he's wow. omnipotent, but he's also omnipotent, and that's why I believe he said to Abram on the mount, "Right now, I know. Yeah, now I know. You talk about stationary. You talk about not going forward. Here he is on that mount. There's nowhere to go. Ah." Uh, and he, he's like that that uh, that ram that's coming up the other side. It, it was caught huh. in, in the thicket, uh, just uh, not able to go forward or backwards. Right. Caught. Right. And that's those times when revelation comes as a two-edged sword. <laughs> and we know him in ways and find out and discover things about him we've never known. And at the same time, he he makes discovery about us. (laughs) And so, so, uh, yeah, it was a three-day journey there, but, oh, that must have seemed like a year's Mm -hmm. or a decade's journey going up that mount. But he always uh, wants us to approach every, every situation as from the standpoint of worship he said you 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 young man you stay here while i and the lad go to yonder mount to worship and the last time i checked worship god is absolutely in the center to circumference in the focus in the activity in the in the inactivity whatever he deems Mm. uh to bring a worthiness to him. Uh, and it's, it's in that encounter. And I, I guess that's my, my, uh, my quest here is it's, it's not enough, you know, good theology can become an enemy uh, mm. to a fresh encounter with God. I've seen it. Folks get wow. so settled with, well, I, I've got more revelation than most people, and God has shown me more truth in my little pinky than most will have in their entire body. Mm-hmm. And I've heard it over and over. But again, that revelation was given not to make us smarter. Right. But exactly. To endear, but to endear us to right. him. Yeah, that makes right. so much sense to me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> It's to draw you to that elevated place with him. Yes, yes. Yeah, it doesn't become so, yours. Yeah. So let, let me let me ask you this, Bishop. Then that that's got to be why. And I'm I'm asking at this point, I guess, when because the 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 lure can be, if, if we're not careful, we are so positional or destination driven in our walk with God that we forget the journey. Yes, he's he is the destination. Mm. <laughs> right, right. So if you got him now, the journey. yeah, right. the journey. Yes, <laughs> yes. As long as I've got him with me, and he's told us over and over and over again, "I'm with you. I'm with you." I'm yeah, with you. <laughs> so good. Yeah, yeah. So, so, the, go, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Well, it's like duh. Yeah. But 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 it's that it's that old flesh that it's it's gotta get from point A to point B, you know. 
I used to be the, that way as a young husband on a, on a trip with my dear wife. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. Are we and there yet? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I had a bladder out. that I had a bladder that was made out of iron, <laughs> and so I would pass up Presterius and and on I'd go. And uh, but you know what? Time and life and mm. a, and a weakened bladder. <laughs> has caused me to stop and smell the roses and and uh enjoy the trip have fun on the way yeah because it's who you're with i'm knowing oh, I'm on. at, not only in the natural but obviously in the holy god it's who you're with it's not where it's not when it's not uh -uh, or it's who mm -hmm. it's oh. who it's God, it's people, friends, family. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. So is that why when, when Moses is having that discussion then with the angel of the Lord and, and he says, well, look, they're all, they're all destination driven. Everybody's wanting to get to the promised land. Just go ahead and take them. I'm tired of hearing it. And Moses says, I got one question. Are you going to be there? <laughs> That's what's so incredible about him. Yeah. That is what is so incredible. What, what, what good is a promised land if you're not there? Yes. The, the, the whole point. What, what good is a promise mm. if you had to trade being with him to attain the promise? Yes. The whole point of the promised land is that you have that uninterrupted, unadulterated access to him. Yes. It's better to be in a wilderness with him than in a promised land without him. Yes. Yes. That's, that's why. And I, I, I thank God for the kingdom mindedness and the, the, the kingdom of God, which is righteousness, peace and joy and the Holy ghost. But so many sometimes get caught up in the kingdom and forget all about the king. Wow. There, there's a king, you know, yeah. as vast as this kingdom is, the righteousness, the peace, and the joy, it's still in the Holy Ghost. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's still yes. in the Holy Ghost. King, the king, seek you first, the kingdom of God. And evidently, the focus there is who? Because he says, and his mm. righteousness. Yeah, that's right. Right. So the focus, the focus, I guess that's, that's where I'm at, uh, is, is focus, riveted focus upon him. And, uh, uh, man, that's important in this day we're in, isn't it? Oh, you know, hearing the voice of God is not our biggest challenge to faith. It's, it's not being distracted by all the other voices. Mm -hmm. That's our biggest challenge. Boy, God, is a, God is a speaking God. Yeah. He, he's, he's not only uh, not deaf that he, that he cannot hear, yeah. but he's not mute that he cannot speak. Uh, man yeah. shall not live by bread alone, but by yeah. every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. He's calling us to be a people that live unto his voice. And if we stop doing everything that God didn't tell us to do, wow. Mm. Uh, if we just started Scaling back everything that mm. God did not tell us to do oh, God. and just, just operate solely in what God has said. See, that's the thing, Pastor McKillop, that really caused me to buy into what I'm doing here today with you all is you said you, you felt prompted. And right. when you, right. when you said that, I thought, okay. We're operating inside the voice of God here. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I, I, I've tried operating outside. Uh, you, it, it's, it's, you talk about tough going at best. <laughs> and Bishop, 
I, I don't care. I, I don't care if it's my daily life. I don't care if it's on a podcast. I don't care if it's for sure in a church service. I believe it can govern every aspect of my life. Yes, sir. And should. We have got to have that prompting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if it takes 10 seconds or 10 minutes or 10 hours or 10 days, mm. Or 10 years, you know, I've got promises that have been on the back burner for uh, 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 for 50 years. Wow. Uh, and, but I, 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 they've got a, sh they've got a shelf life mm -hmm. mm. that will surpass time. That's right. Right. And eternity, heaven and earth. Yeah. Away. <laughs> no. oh. ah. Shall not. What mm. is it about us, our humanity, our flesh? We are so so short sighted. We we can get the word Sunday night, and if it doesn't happen by Thursday, we're checking out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're so time, you know, you focus on time only. You and you let time rule you. Mm. You're you're fighting with a short stick at best. Yeah. That's what Paul said. We look not at the things which are temporal, but at the things that are eternal. Wow. They're gonna they're gonna outlast time. They're gonna live on. And uh when that when that becomes you know David could do it David could do it what he's quoted Peter quotes him on when he's preaching on the day of Pentecost and and he said I I, I foresaw the Lord always before yes. me yes now, how how could this Old Testament worshiper how could he uh, we know he just didn't pick up the Lord and say all right. But we we know that this this was a, a focus that that was driven by hunger and, and desire, and 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 so much that the the book there in, in Psalm sixteen, if you'll you allow me to go there, yeah. yes, you know, Joel Joel gets all the credit, which he should get some of it, being quoted on the day of Pentecost, but but David. David is referenced in Psalm 16. And, uh, oh, it's all good. But in verse 5, the Lord is the portion of mine inheritance. Mm. So that's, that's, that's present. That's future. And of my cup, thou maintainest yeah. my lot. Yeah. The lines are falling in oh. me in places. Yea, I have a goodly... Heritage. That's that's the past and the present. Yes. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the night seasons. Oh, so much here, but mm. I have set oh. the Lord always <laughs> before me. Now that challenges me, Pastor. Woo. That challenges me that this king, this 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 man of means, right? This right. man who did not want for wealth or any material thing in this life, but yet, how many times does he refer to himself in the Book of Psalms? This poor man. Yep. Uh, <laughs> See, his focus was not on time or material things or or stuff. That wasn't his focus. That was just a benefit. That was a derivative. He knew who whom it came from. Ah, oh, God! Constantly, he oh, God. he he announced his his dependent state. 
this 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 poor man i lack so i have so much but yet i i lack so much and it's because his focus was riveted on the right one right and the right, right. things i have set the lord always before me because he is at now you think about this he is at my right hand hmm I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad. Now, I love how the Holy Ghost translates it in Acts 2. But since we're here, we'll go with this. <laughs> and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope, for thou wilt not lead my soul in hell. Neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life. <laughs> In thy presence is fullness of joy, and fullness is measured by overflow. You okay. don't know it's full. Uh, you don't know it's full until there's an overflow. Come on now. Of joy. <laughs> and then he says, at thy right hand, hmm. there are pleasures forevermore. Now in verse... Eight, he says, the Lord is, that, is at my right. Right. <laughs> In verse 11, now I'm at the Lord's, mm -hmm. or David is at the Lord's right hand. Hmm. The only way that that can happen simultaneous is there's a face-to-face -face encounter. My God. And relationship. And he says always, and that just blows me away. That's quite an image. I, yeah, I've set he's, the Lord always before me. He's within he arm's is, reach of God. Yes, and he's running a country. Wow. He's, uh, he's, he's preparing all the materials for the most magnificent oh, building God. up to that time. Hmm. And uh, he's a busy man. He's not just sitting around twiddling in his thumb. No, no, no. He's a busy man, but yet he's focused. He's riveted wow. on, on the Lord. I believe that that hunger, that desire is what kept bringing oh, him back. God. Even when he failed, even when he faltered, mm -hmm. he just... Uh, as the heart panteth after the water brook, so does my soul thirst after the O God. Oh God. My soul thirsteth after the living, living God. Yeah. He's not he's not just uh, a manifestation, although he does that. He's not just a miracle, although that's that's his essence, that's his nature. Uh he's he's living, he's real. And uh I think sometimes uh, I'm guilty of of treating him uh, like an emotion or, or just a feeling. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you know when when he has feelings, he has emotions. Mm. Don't you think that's what Paul meant when he said, "Grieve not huh. the Holy Spirit of God." Oh, and, and Stephen said it with a little more <laughs> uh, force when he was preaching just before he was stoned to death. He yeah. said, "He said you, you you do resist yes the Holy Ghost yes oh and 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 then was it uh, uh, Thessalonians? Paul says, "Quench quench right not right." The spirit, yeah. and on I could go. I know there's a there's a verse in the Old Testament that talks about they vexed my spirit, mm. and and I suppose, Pastor, one of the most hurtful things in a in a relationship that's that's designed for intimacy, whether it be marriage or a brother with a brother, or sure, you know, the family of God is is when you're ignored. When you're just you're just mm -hmm. ignored, and I, I think maybe that's what 
the, the Solomon had in mind, mm. first chapter of Proverbs. They, yeah. they, they, they heard his voice, they heard his call, but they, they just, just ignored it, just didn't respond. Just, oh, God, help us to know there's, there's something amazing, and I don't know that we'll ever plumb the depths of it in this life. In this salvation, this this walk with God, He's He's bigger than we think He is. He's mm. better than we think He is. Mm. And I'll go on record saying He's closer than we think He is. Yeah, absolutely. He's more real than we think He is. Yeah. Yeah. So when we don't focus on God, are we ignoring him? Well, I, I wish I had the, the illustration in front of me. Let me try. In the early days of the founding of North America, the the new arrivals came to a, a land that was uh, rough and rugged and uh, they met up with the the natives mm -hmm. of this continent and they were amazed at their superior eyesight we're told and they could go out in the woods and and the, our pilgrim forefathers would look at the same thing mm -hmm. that these natives would look at. And, and instead of just seeing uh, some leaves, mm. this native could see the, the ear of a squirrel. Mm. Or instead of just mm. seeing some tree branches, the native could see the number of points on that white-tailed deer uh -huh. antler. And uh, it wasn't until the, the first severe winter mm -hmm. when our forebears had to learn to live off the land. Yeah. yeah. And hunger kicked in. Yeah. And you start and looking. Was <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. The hungrier they got, they got. Come the on. Focus. Come on. Woo. <laughs> fine-tuned and they realized they could see just as good or better well lord jesus than those natives because they had they'd gotten hungry hungry oh god have mercy Woo. <laughs> and so if i can if i can keep that hunger and that first, that, that's one of my biggest challenges, Pastor, is, is to be hungry and full at the same time. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the hungry. blessing is in the hunger, isn't it? Yes. yes. Oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And, and, and. And and be content in the sense of of his his presence, but but knowing you know enough if you if you've had any any kind of encounter with him, you know there's more. You know there's more. It's it's unknown to you. You haven't seen it yet. You haven't felt it yet. You haven't experienced it yet, but you know, you know, you know, there's something within us. There's something within us. And so I, I have to constantly uh, keep that hunger, not just, mm. just hungry, but get hungrier, hungrier, if that makes sense. Yeah. And uh, where, where nothing else matters, I, I, I want what you want, God. I, 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 I live, I live under your voice. Can I, can I give you this in, yeah. in the book of Revelation? Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm like that, uh, that old Indian proverb. 
I don't know when we're going to come to the next creek to get us a drink. So we'll just go ahead and drink all we can. Hey, right there we go. That's right. Revelation 3, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Yeah. If any man, that's what I love about this New Testament salvation. I'm, I've got access regardless of yeah. my, my pedigree, my past, my position. Uh, if any man hear my voice, Revelation 3.20, and open the door, I oh. will come in mm. to him and will sup with him yes yeah i'm not the only hungry man at the table Woo. god brings his own hunger yeah oh god yeah it's a two-way street it's it's like a mirror so much of this relationship it's a, it's it's a mirror wow here here i am at this table doing my best to give him glory Mm. And at the same time, he's trying to glorify me and bring me to a state of glorification. Wow. <laughs> Here I am trying to feast on every morsel and every, mm -hmm. every spiritual atom that's a part of his being. And at the same time, he's feasting on me. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's the same thing that had to be happening at the well when, yeah. when, when she came for a drink and he yeah. was there looking for something man i'm thirsty <laughs> and really the 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 culmination of that encounter is worship yes, true worship such, for such seeketh yes <laughs> yes the father when two hungry people get together <laughs> A hungry God and a hungry seeker. Oh, we're going to have a worship encounter. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hallelujah. Woo. Wow. Wow. And so it's here at the table. Oh, if we could title this, we'd title it Table Matters. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, to him. Come on, somebody. <laughs> that overcometh. This is where we overcome. Yes. You get in his presence. Mm -hmm. You learn to navigate his presence, respond to his voice. Mm -hmm. That's why church is so incredibly important. Because that's that's where you overcome. I know mm -hmm. we think, well, all my battles are out there. Yeah, but you you take care of your Gethsemane. You take care of the table. Yeah, he'll 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 take care of any and every other oh, thing. God, it, absolutely. Because this is where we get our sustenance. We mm -hmm. get our strength, our direction, our wherewithal. We we learn to navigate his. His spirit will learn to navigate human spirits. Oh, you, 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 you learn how to respond to the spirit of God. You, you, you'll know how to respond to the spirit of man. The spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. I, re, I used to be real shy and bashful and I really am by nature. But I learned courage to speak to men by speaking to God. Mm -hmm. That's Moses, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Wow. And so if you'll take care of that table encounter, supping with him, Letting him sup with you. See, it's ebb and flow. Mm -hmm. It's it's waiting. It's it's moving. It's listening. It's speaking. <laughs> it's it's in these moments, Pastor. 
I know he's going to work. I know he's going to answer. I know he's going to fulfill his word. But oftentimes I don't know whether he's going to do it with me or for me. All right. There's, there's times he'll say, just, just stand still, as has already been stated, and see the salvation. Of course, in the very next phrase is uh, go forward. Go forward. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but there are those times, Jehoshaphat, when, when you just send out the, the singers and you just you just praise the lord mm -hmm. and and i'll i'll do it for you mm -hmm. and when he when he does it for you then the issue is 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 identity he's reminding you that you're his child mm -hmm. and he's daddy mm -hmm. and he can do anything anytime oh. and then there's those times that he does it with us and it requires us to to have sword in hand and and whack a few heads off and mm -hmm. take care of spiritual business that's that's that is and then the issue there is authority all right that's the right. issue and letting letting us know that hey with with him, I can do all things through Christ, which mm. strengthens me. Mm. So to him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that hath an ear. Let him. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. If we ever get to do this again, I'd love to. I'd love to go to the book of Ephesians. This is the teaser. John, John 3 as a as a as the springboard. Oh yeah. We, we can take care of the if. We're gonna do it again. Yeah. Wow. Anyway. I've enjoyed this, y'all, so very, very much. Thank you for the. Oh. I, I hope this has added a little thin layer, and uh, it helps somebody. Hey, if anybody but, wants us to have Bishop back, you just leave it in the comments below. We're going to do it whether you comment or not. But we're just trying to leave it so that you can feel like you've got a voice. We're going. We're going to have him back again. Bishop, let me just let me ask you this before we we wrap up. Um, when you when you started, you made a statement. And I, I wrote it down that ministry. You're concerned that ministry is becoming a learned art form. Um, and man, there's just so much that you've you've covered today. Wow. But what is there in particular? If there was anything, I guess it's been somewhere around six, seven years since we met. Um, and if there's anything that impacted me about, about your ministry, it was that there was times you would step to the pulpit and seldom would you even read a text. You would just begin just kind of like we did here and then the, the flow of the Holy Ghost would just mm -hmm. lead you. What is there that you could give as a young man? And I know that we have a number of young men and even younger than myself that listen to this podcast. What what are some of those things that, that is there, are there any specifics that you could give that trouble you about how the form of a of an apostolic service takes over the flow form form is is absolutely necessary let all things be done decently in order anytime it's at the expense of the holy ghost then 
then it has denied the power of God. And, and so to me, it boils down to how to hear the voice of God and, mm. and to obey the voice of God. Wow. And I would say to any young man, develop a deep reservoir of the, the written word of God. I mean, mm. don't just get in this book. Let this book get in you. Don't just read this book. Let this book read you. It, mm. it's, it's the only book in the universe that the author is always present. Uh, wow. Always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so you, 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 you don't read this like you do uh, uh, any other book. My God. And, uh, so you read he, it with he, the author. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, and let him read. You know, he, he even asked, uh, was it the, the rich young ruler? How readest? Yeah. That's true. God. Thou. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> yeah. And, and of course, he was reading. He was reading me. But a deep, deep reservoir, give attendance to reading the word of God and not just uh, l let it, let it speak, let it, let the written word become the living word. I, I, I know, I know uh, there's a balance here. There's a balance here. Because God will never speak contrary to his written word. God will Thank never God. say anything that's outside of the bounds of this written word. Uh, and so that that's the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, I, I can't get enough of this book. Mm. I, I just, I can't. Uh, every day in devotion with Sister Tipton, I'm, I'm just amazed at, at the, this book will never plumb the depths. Never, never, never. And, uh, it is our manual for life. It's our manual for ministry, but it's more than a manual. Don't treat it as just a, a book where I'm looking for a sermon. I'm looking for a message. No, no, no. You're looking for him. Uh, You're looking for him. And you get to looking for him. Oh, that makes it easier for him to find you. And uh, when he when he finds you, <laughs> you let him find you. Uh, then he's able to find that 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 one you're going to minister to, that next service. Or, and again, it goes back to who who. Right. And so. Gone are the days of, of, of chasing a message. Uh, I, I, it's just, it has never worked for me. I've tried it, mm. uh, but it's, it's chasing, it's chasing after the one who's, who's got not just a message, but the absolute on target never misses. It's always right. What's it say? The law of the Lord is perfect. Mm. To the converting of the soul. My, my, my. And, and, and in that, again, you get this great thought, you get this nugget, we call it sometimes. Again, always remember inside of that revelation is, is an invitation yeah. to wow. embrace him, to encounter him, and allow him to encounter you so that and embrace that makes an altar service that much more significant then. When, yes. when, when that revelation is presented to that body of believers, then at that moment, get out of the way, preacher. Yeah. Now that you've yeah. revealed where he is, let those people, yeah. let those yes. people have that intimacy with him. Yes. Yeah. Now's not the time to introduce my new song or stop. Whoa, and, whoa, whoa! And, and that's where the go band off comes on, in. Yeah, that's where the <laughs> see. We got a drummer that's co-hosting this podcast, and so he. That's not when you come in with your drum solo. Duly noted, Pastor. At that, that moment, 
That is the truth. And, and, and I'll tell you what I've experienced here. I think I can say it to, as a, a compliment, at the same time a strength for whoever hears this. Places can get in such a pattern where they're so uh, oriented to a certain pattern again, a certain right. form. A certain form. Yeah, there yep. is. And it's not what I want. It's what he wants. Right. It's not what I think. It's what he's thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the Holy Ghost will bring his thoughts and the, and his his word. Uh, and as as and I've seen it. The last, honestly, the last seven years, eight years now, pastoring of ministry, I have seen altar services probably 60%, and I, I, I'm being low, at least 60%, no music. Mm. Yeah. At least 60%, if not more. Yeah. Because... Because, like you say, it's obvious he's here, he's speaking, and he's inviting, and uh, he's reaching. And so, uh, bad table manners is there to is. ignore there it is. the guest of honor. Yes. Bad table manners is to, is to cut him off or to shut him down. Oh, I could tell you stories. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Yeah. Oh, I could tell you stories, but I'd have to change the names to, <laughs> to, to protect the innocent or the guilty. <laughs> <laughs> but as a whole, as a whole, Pastor, it, it has been phenomenal because I guess you're you're the spirit of a man precedes him. And so I'd say 99% of the time, whenever I get an invitation and God sends me, uh, they already are on board. Right. They're already willing to go yes, sir. wherever the Holy Ghost wants to take them. And so I, I do, uh, you know, I have no stones to throw. I tell you, the Holy Ghost is operating to in fullness as never before mm. in fullness as as never before wow and bishop this has been amazing i've cried i've felt the holy ghost i've been inspired i've been instructed and this is what this is all about so i want to thank you for taking the time to be with us today thank you thank you lord i'm uh, i'm the recipient here I, I will tell you i will say one more thing to the young preacher yes sir. i used to hold my cards close to my vest and god give me something and i was real reluctant to share it because i wanted to be the first out with it yeah i'm gonna tell you i've changed that God gives me something. I, I have learned over the years, the quicker I can disseminate it and get it out there and propagate it. As I'm doing that, here comes another. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Here comes more where that come from. It, it okay. just, it works that way. And uh, be, be eager to give. Mm. Be eager to give. Wow, that's so freely good. you have received. Freely, yeah, yeah. Freely give. Freely. <laughs> so this is a setup. Y'all have set me up. Yeah, oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. You set me up. <laughs> I I think I think you told me you you lived in mining territory. Oh yeah, this is coal mining country. So uh, um, I I think we just hit a good vein. Mm -hmm. And we're going to come back and mine this thing again. <laughs> well, thank you. We sure love you all. Give our greetings to all your family. Absolutely, Bishop.
and thank you so, so much, man. I've enjoyed it. God bless. Yes, sir. Oof. Does anybody else feel full after that session? Wow. Wasn't that incredible with Bishop wow. Tipton? I want to do a little better at minding my manners. Seriously, how many think we should have him come back? Yeah, that's... Yeah, you got to let us know. Let's let us know what you think. Let's get him back on. He can. I could listen to that guy talk for hours. Oh. Yeah. So thanks again for listening. Like always, this is the time that I remind you that you should subscribe if you haven't already. By the way, we're growing the last couple of weeks. Not just Thanksgiving kind of growing. <laughs> we're not <laughs> swelling. <laughs> growing in terms of listeners because of you. Uh, so yeah, thanks again for listening. Uh, rate, review, uh, get ahead of all these nasty algorithms and evil censorship of quality podcasts like ourselves. Thanks again for listening. We'll see you again next week on Kingdom Speak with Pastor Daniel McKellop. Mm-hmm.